Hi, I'm Mel and welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you are new, please subscribe. I post on Mondays, Wednesdays and Saturdays at 6pm UK time with the occasional bonus video such as a collab or open invite challenge. And please push that notification bell because obviously you won't get bombarded with posts through your notifications. It's just them days that I post but you will obviously miss out on my other like bonus videos if you haven't pushed that notification bell. In today's video I'm going to be sharing with you how to make a little Easter treat um, and it is really easy. All you need is a jar, I just got this from Hobbycraft, they're the pound ones but you can use it any jar like a jam jar or anything like that. You need some flowers which I've got fake flowers for the um, top of the jar you can just get whatever ones you want. So I think most of them were a pound from Hobbycraft as well. Then you need some foam and it'll just be like the white or whatever you want for the inside of the ears and then the outside of the ears. Scissors and then whatever you want to fill the jar with. So I've got cream eggs. I've got mini chocolate eggs and we've also got marshmallows. And that's what we're going to fill inside. But we're going to decorate the jar. Oh, you'll also need... Um, some sharpies put them in there so that's all you need um, it's really simple and we'll show you how to make them also got the glue gun on hot glue gun as well we'll just plug that in over there okay here we go so starting with your foam you need to draw out ear shapes yeah I'm doing it on the back it doesn't matter what side so you just I'd draw out like a, a straight bit and then a curved bit for the ear and then cut that out and then I draw around it so it matches then you're done with that bit of foam and then you want to use this white bit um, and you draw you want it smaller but I'm just going to draw around it so I know the size and then I'm just going to go in it a bit smaller and then I'll cut that out and then to obviously trace it again, do it again. In fact, I can draw this around again. Okay, then with your ears, you just want to glue on the white to the purple. So my hot glue gun is ready. So, next up, you want to take your flowers. So, I've got two big flowers and you want to take them off their stalks and should just twist off like that and the same with these little roses they should just come off as well so I just put these to fill in the gaps a bit And we've got one spare, that's fine. So now you need to glue these all on into place. So that's back over there with the glue gun. And you just need to play around with them to make them sit and stick these ears behind. It might be that you don't need the roses, but we might play around with them. So I've glued the rose, which will be the middle one and you just want to stick it on and then you just hot glue round where like the stem would go okay so 
So then that is the lid, but you need to put the ears on. So you're just going to hot glue along the edge of the ear and stick it on like that. And then there is your rabbit's ears with the flowers in front and I'll do the blue one now. And then there are the boys' ears. The blue maybe should have been in over here more, but it still works. The only thing I'm going to do across the back of his, I'm going to show you very well. It doesn't seem to have stuck that well, so I'm just going to just run a edge of glue. Okay, with like the plain edge, not plain, but like, you know, it's got no like lumps and bumps on it, it's just plain. We are going to put on the face. So I've laid it down and the purple for my nieces is going to be the nose and I've got a light blue for Alfie's, my nephew. So the nose is the purple, so you just want to draw like a triangle, not, yeah, like a kind of triangle, but not colour it in. Like so, it's quite strong. And then you just do eyes and whiskers. And then I'm just gonna go down and just do it like a, does that look too much cat-ish? I'm just down a little bit and then a little mouth. Like so, and then I'll do that for Alfie's too, so that's Abigail's. Let's start with the blue. Okay, now it's time to fill the jars up. I'm sure even if you went in Hobbycraft, you would be able to do, find chocolates or whatever to put in them anyway. So we're gonna start with green. Eggs, just the green. And that should cover the bottom. You've got a way long more like green than me. Now we're gonna do a layer of marshmallows, it doesn't matter what color. And then stick your cream egg in the middle. Then do a layer of minor pink and the, for Alfie's blue. And then another layer of marshmallows. pink egg missing and then all the gold ones on the top and then that is your bunny you can't really see her, her nose on this because of the pink but then you need to screw on the top start at the back okay so you the back start with the ears at the back and twist it round and that's wonky. And there we have our girl bunny and our boy bunny. Easter trees. I think they're really cool actually. They're dead easy to make. I think it probably cost me five pound max on both jars. That's not nothing. Um, and they're really cool. I think even if you did them as like gifts to the teacher for Easter or anyone. You could put like 
a little toy chicken there if it was for a baby. It's nice to keep afterwards, they could fill it up with yeah. other little things. Pens or something, yeah. And that is it for today's Easter DIY. Um, I think they're really cute, actually. I think they're better how they've turned out than what I thought they would. And I think they're super cute. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you would make these, what colour theme would you make them? They've literally m took us half an hour, and that's to make two, if that. So I hope you enjoyed. Please also subscribe, push that notification bell to see when I post. Thanks for watching. Bye.